Do you know what Hantu is? Um, not really. I feel like it's like a uh, sort of culture. I think I don't really know. But what do you think Hantu is? Um, well, earlier I said um, culture. I think it is some type of culture. Um, yeah. Can you provide an example of what Hantu would be? Um, that's a that's a hard that's a difficult question. Um, oh, it didn't definitely show the reference. Okay. The term Hanfu trans the term Hanfu translates to Han clothing, referring to the stylistic choices of the people of the Han Dynasty. And it's also, as you were right, it was a culture, but it's also a, a subculture of Han Chinese. And here's a reference. Um, oh, okay. Oh, this is really cool. Um, now that you know what Hantu is, how would you feel if you saw someone dressed in Um, I would think someone who is dressed, um, Hantu, um, I would think that, that it would be like a way of expressing their, their culture and what they wear. And I would think it's pretty fascinating. Do you have any instances of when you saw, when you have seen someone wearing Hanfu, whether that be in person or on social media? Um, I've seen more on social media. I haven't really got to see it in person yet, but I would love to. People who wear Hanfu have been judged for wearing their culture clothes. Have you ever been judged for wearing your own culture clothes? Yeah, many times, actually. Um, some people would judge me because of a hairstyle that I wear because of my culture and an outfit that I wear, usually. If you saw someone being bullied for wearing country, how would you feel and how would, it, how would you react to this situation? To be honest, if I saw someone uh, bullied for the way that they express the culture, I would be disappointed and um, I would be sad for them, but I, I would stand up for them because I have been bullied before because of my culture and because of how I look like or what I wear. So I would stand up for the person and hopefully um, bullying stops. <laughs> Can you distinguish between a Hanfu and other Chinese culture attire? For example, another form of attire is the kimono. Um, can you repeat the question? Oh, yeah. Can you distinguish between Hanfu and other forms of Chinese culture attire? Yeah, um, um, do you want to see both the reference ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The first tab is the kimono and the second one is Hanfu. Okay. Probably, uh, Hanfu, probably, um, I would kind of, like, react, um, of how, how fascinating it is, because usually in, um, outfits like that um, they have really great designs um, and just it's, it's cool. so kimono is more of designs more than hanfu it's more uh, fabric and um, yeah
I would say it's more designs, kimono than hanku. Can you see a solution to the lack of rep representation of hanku culture? Can you repeat that? Do you want me to rephrase it or repeat it? I'll repeat it. Can you see a solution to the lack of representation of Hong Kong culture? Yeah. Um, I would think that the solution should be, um, like, for example, So Hanfu, the solution could be that just bring it out to the world more and like I think people should wear it, their culture, more often and like we should learn about the culture more and um, to know what, how their standards are or their outfits. How would you feel if the school held more events representing Chinese culture or specifically Hong Kong? Um, I would think that would be great if our school, if schools were to um, do like express more cultures because to be honest, school um, usually never really like, um, how do I say this? Express cultures more. And I think if we put more out there, it would be great results. Um, and then many people could know about multiple cultures, which I think it's fascinating to know about people's cultures. After our discussion, what do you think about Hong Fu? I would think Hong Fu, I do think that Hong Fu is more to discover about because it is rarely known. So I would think that we should learn about it more.